Welcome back to Archie Geek. I'm Chuck Smith and I'm here to show you Stadia on this Xiaomi uh, Mi TV 4A. So this is a very budget uh, TV but a smart TV and I'm quite impressed by it. Um, so it has uh, 8 gigabytes of storage, uh, one and a half gigabytes of RAM and shockingly it runs Stadia pretty well but side loaded, not official. So I'm going to show you that today. So let's jump right in. So I've got the uh, Remote the TV as well here. Mm. <laughs> so this runs a standard uh, Android TV 9. So the latest version of Android TV. You even got the web browsing, Stadia. I'll show you Retro Arch in a future video. Today I want to show you Stadia. So this is up. So it normally doesn't load that fast, I just had it up. But uh, uh, it does work pretty well. So let's start connecting to this. And see down here. These images don't always load perfectly. The way you start a game is you'll go to it with the TV remote, you go into it, then you hit play. Takes a little while to load up here. It should tell me that it doesn't detect a controller. Let's see, yeah, there it goes. No controller found. So now that I've uh, held the power button here in, I can uh, type the code, A Y B A, and it will connect automatically, and then this will go away, and the game will start, as you see here. Let's see. And I'm super impressed with how well this plays, honestly. So we're here, at, the connection here is 16 down and 2.4 up, but it's still... Oh, another thing to mention is this is a 720p screen. So HD, not full HD. So I'll just go in and show you a bit of gameplay here. Alright, let's get into something. This is Trials Rising, one of my favorite racing games. Oh, this is a fun track. Lights the camera action. Let's go with the Mantis. So, it's also a fun game I play with the people at the Stadium Racing Community, but I also recommend. They've got an awesome Discord and they have uh, events every week for different uh, racing games in Stadia. A little bit of loading time. It's all running from the cloud, so nothing locally except for the Stadia app. Never should have picked a simpler track that wouldn't take so long to load. Most of them don't take this long. But this track is awesome, so let's see how well I do it. Despite the slow end TV and uh, relatively slow internet, for a cloud gaming it was slow internet. So we tried it and we found that those typical problems are if you run Stadia, if this internet connection with something else, like say someone's on Instagram or something like that, then it will have, it will stutter. And that wasn't stuttering at uh, special effects from the level. This game is so great. <laughs> I used to play a game like this called Xmodo. Oh no! Ah, crash. I used to play a game like this called Xmodo on Mac back in the day. That helped me a lot to get the feel of this kind of game. I just love the graphics in this. So nice. It's the Hollywood level. Nice. <laughs> Nope. Okay. Anyway, just wanted to show you a quick show of how well the game runs in Stadia on the TV directly. So the trouble comes though 
I mean, so I know a lot of you play Stadia and Chromecast Ultra, which is obviously the best experience. So let's go into settings and see what happens here when you go to settings. So sorry I had to edit that out because I didn't want to show my friends list. But you see here we've got um, already the trouble that you can't control this with the controller anymore. You've got to go back to your, um, your remote control to get through this menu, which is obviously not ideal, <laughs> but it works. Uh, sometimes you get stuck to where you just have to um, go to, like, even need a mouse. So I have this air mouse hooked up to it, which obviously also isn't ideal with the scroll here. Okay, here you don't need to scroll so much. But there are times when you find you really do need to scroll in settings. I like my friends list, I don't want to show you my friends. So. Um, but yeah, if you go to your friends list, then you've got problems. You can't get back to the game. With the controller, I believe? Oh, you can, okay. So that's not all that bad, actually. It's just not ideal like the Chromecast Ultra. So yeah, anyway, if you just want to play and you don't care about the interface so much, getting in and stuff, and you're happy to sideload the app, Stadia runs amazing on this um, Xiaomi Mi 32-inch 4A TV. So I highly recommend it. But, like I said before, if you want the best experience, I still recommend hooking up a Chromecast Ultra to this. So oh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you next time on RG Geek, when I'm going to go over how, to, how this game runs retro games. Alright, see you next time.